Hello, my name is Carrie Ann, and this week at Pi Towers, I've been spending a lot of time looking at one of these. This is a Raspberry Pi camera, and there's lots of really cool things you can do with one. A really cool and simple idea is to create some time lapse photography. Here you can see I took the Pi camera and I pointed it out of the office at Pi Towers, and I recorded these pictures over a number of hours. Then I put them all together and made a video. So now it's your turn. Let's get arty with a Raspberry Pi and a Pi camera. There are a few things you're going to need for this tutorial. First, you'll need a Raspberry Pi and all the bits that plug into that, like your SD card and your power. You're also going to need a Raspberry Pi camera. And this is what one looks like. You might also need a camera mount to be able to hold your camera up. If you head to the Raspberry Pi website, you can find out where you can buy all these bits and pieces. When your Raspberry Pi camera arrives, it will come in a box and in an anti-static bag. So you need to take it out of the bag. You will need to take the film off the lens of the camera, otherwise your pictures are gonna come out all blue and that won't be very good. So you can just peel that off. Then you need to fit it to your Pi. Start by turning it over so that the camera lens is pointing outwards and then take the ribbon cable and put it into the slot that is next to the ethernet port. You need to pull up the clips and then you need to hold down the cable securely and you have to make sure it's the right way round. So the silver connectors need to be pointing away from the ethernet port and the blue side should be pointing towards the ethernet port. Once it's in, press down the two sides securely holding onto the ribbon cable. Once it's connected, you need to turn on your Raspberry Pi and open up an LX terminal window because first of all, we need to tell your Raspberry Pi to enable your camera. So type this line into an LX terminal window or the command line. This will open the Raspberry Pi configuration menu. If you select number five, enable camera, and then tab over to enable, press enter, and then tab out of the configuration menu down at finish. This will then reboot your Pi and hopefully enable your camera. Once your Pi has rebooted, we now can test to see if your camera works. In an LX terminal window, you need to type this line and this will give you a preview of what the camera sees for a short while before it takes a picture. You can see what it looks like because it's stored in your home directory. So I've just opened up the file manager and then double clicked on the image. But the moment it looks really blurry and that's because it's taken such a high resolution picture, I need to zoom out to be able to see it all. Great, now I know that my camera works. So now I'm gonna create a directory and to store all of my webcam pictures. So I'm just gonna make directory, webcam, and then I need to type in the following line. This is all one line into the command line or into an LX terminal window. And this will tell the camera to take a picture once every minute for two hours. Time to point the Raspberry Pi camera at something a little bit more interesting than the floor. This is where a mount will come in really helpful. Um, I managed to blue tack mine to the window just to make sure it would stay secure. Go away for two hours, go and play a game or make something cool. And when you come back, you will find um, the camera's taken all your pictures. So you just simply type LS to list all the files and you can see here all my images are there. But now what we need to do is put them together to make a video. So there's two things we need to do. One, we need to install a library of tools that will help us do that. And then we need to actually run a command to make the video. So first off, type this line in to download and install some tools that will help you make a video. Making sure I'm in the folder or directory where my images are, I'm then gonna type the really long line that tells the Pi to make a video. Now, after you type this in and you press enter, it's gonna really slow down your Pi. In fact, your Pi is gonna become useless to you and it takes a really long time, especially if you have lots and lots of images. It is a really difficult way to do it because I found that my Raspberry Pi kept crashing. So I would leave it for a couple of hours, come back and it wouldn't have made the video. And I did this a number of times. There is another way to do this. You can copy over the image files from your Raspberry Pi to a computer that's a bit more powerful 
to turn it into a video. I connected my Raspberry Pi to my local network and from my computer I used FTP to copy all the image files from the Raspberry Pi to my computer. You could also copy the files off the SD card on your computer or use a USB memory stick. Then using some video editing software I imported all the images and I put them all next to each other on the timeline. And then what I did is I set the duration of each image to fractions of a second. In fact, I had 0.04 of a second for each image before saving it as a movie file. One way to get arty with your Pi camera. Another way is to make a stop frame animation video. In fact, my first YouTube video was a stop frame animated movie all about me and my teaching. To use your Pi to make a stop frame animation, you could just take lots of little pictures, or you could use this wonderful piece of software called Pi-mation. If you just head over to GitHub and search for Pymation, you will find this page. I've also put links in the description to this and also on my blog. And if you just follow the instructions, especially the ones I've highlighted here, you can use this great piece of software to take pictures. And it does really cool things like onion skinning, so that it will show you where you went before, which is really helpful if you're doing stop frame. So that's it, why not get arty with your Pi camera? And if you make some really good videos, why not send the links to me so I can have a look? Take care, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember, I'm just a mouse click away.